the baby Jesus, but across the face of the baby Jesus we see the cross of redemption. It's not his birth that sets us free, but the fact that he died in our place. It's not the manger that assures our salvation, but the fact that there is an empty tomb today that says you are saved. This Christmas and every Christmas, the Song of Mary is our song as well. You know, we go from the beginning of Luke with angels up in the sky singing excel Gloria and Excelsis. Those same angels come at the end of Luke going, why are you looking for the living among the dead? The manger can only be sung about in you with the cross. We can't sing away in a manger without singing at the cross. It makes no sense. The song of Mary should be our song as well. It's a song of joy. And we rejoice with the same faith that she had. We celebrate with the same purpose that God has for our lives. And we do all this because we've been given the same promises. Mary was given. We share the same Savior. She didn't say, I'm giving birth to your Lord and Savior. She says, I'm giving birth to my Savior. Our joy is expressed as we join Mary in proclaiming unashamedly that our souls magnify what God has done for us through His Son, Jesus Christ. Our joy is embedded in the songs of praise that celebrate our faith and our purpose. But I have to tell you that joy is looking forward to the blessings of heaven someday too. We're all a part of God's glorious plan. We're each a knot in that rug. As Christians, we should have joy in our hearts because we understand the truth of the sacrifice of what Jesus did for each and every one of us. God loved us so much that He sent His only begotten Son to die in our place. God has blessed us with forgiveness and He has given us a future. Praise God for that. So the next time we look at that Advent wreath and we think about how that pink candle looks out of place, remember that the joy that is in us is in knowing that God has a place for us in this world, that he has put the faith the size of a mustard seed within each and every one of us. That he cannot lie, that his promises will come true. When we grab a hold of that joy, perhaps our own song of praise begins to well up in our hearts, and we too will join with Mary by saying, my soul magnifies the Lord for all that he has blessed me with. And with that song in our hearts, I think I'm, I know that we will know the true meaning of joy.